went to a presentation in front of a bunch of HR leaders. And three of the top HR people in the world did a presentation on employee engagement. And they talked about everything companies are doing to engage the employees. They talked about nothing employees could do to engage themselves. And that got me thinking about the topic and I'm thinking, wait a minute, maybe the challenge with employee engagement is not always the company, maybe it's the employee. For example, I have over 11 million frequent flyer miles on American Airlines. I'm on a typical flight, one flight attendant's positive, motivated, upbeat, enthusiastic, one's negative, bitter, angry, and cynical. Have you ever been on that flight? Same plane, same uniform, same employee engagement program. What was the difference? Not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. I'm going to teach you a technique you can use in every meeting, in every interaction. It's going to make you happier. It's going to make you more engaged. Because on that three-hour flight, that miserable flight attendant, the real loser is not just American Airlines or the customers. The real loser is the flight attendant who just lost three hours of their life being an unhappy person. Let me give you my case study. I want you to imagine you have to go to a meeting, a boring meeting, stupid PowerPoint slides. You're dreading the meeting. You hate going to this meeting. It's going to be so dull. Have you ever been to such a meeting? We've all been to the meeting. Now I want you to imagine at the end of the meeting, you're going to be tested on four questions. Each question begins with, did I do my best to? Number one, be happy. Did I do my best to be happy? Number two, find meaning. Number three, build positive relationships. And number four, be fully engaged. If you knew you were going to be tested on those four questions, would you behave differently and how? I've asked thousands of people from around the world that question. Never has a person said I would behave in exactly the same way. They've always said things like, I'd be more interested, I'd pay attention, I'd ask questions, I'd find someone to meet, I'd make sure I got something out of it. Then I always say, why don't you test yourself? Because if you're in that meeting and that hour is shot and you're miserable and disengaged, who's the loser? Back to our flight attendants. It's your hour. It's your hour. If you're in that meeting and you're miserable, it's your hour. I'm going to give you a challenge. You do challenge yourself at every meeting. Am I doing my best to be happy, to be finding meaning? Am I doing my best to be fully engaged, to build positive relationships? If you challenge yourself that way in every meeting, what's going to start happening? Number one, you're going to be a much more productive member of the team. And number two, you're going to have a better life.